Hey everyone, it is Lindsay from Rented Space and thank you for joining me today. Um, today we are going to be up planting um, my elderberries. So I have one big one that I've, <clears throat> I've been sort of showing you for a while now. I got this as a, um, I got some branches of a, um, I guess not really a neighbour neighbour but you know someone down the road and this one's turned into quite a beauty. She's about one maybe if you stood a straight out 1.2 tall and then I have another one here that's a little bit smaller but again it's not been in the best of pot um, <clears throat> so it's uh, probably about half a meter and then um, so when I did the big the first one I had five cuttings I think six cuttings maybe and one took from that I then cut some off of that and that's how I got the next one and then I have gone ahead and got four more as well. So I've just slowly been potting them up, potting them up. Um, I did recently get another big pot, so I am going to use that for my big elder. And then put the smaller one into the bigger pot and just up pot from there. So <clears throat> um, I have got some fresh potting mix in this one here. Um, I have added, or I'm going to add, sorry, a little bit of blood and bone to it. Um, I probably filled it up a bit too much, but the bag was heavy and so I just threw it in. <laughs> but I'll just fill up a couple of these smaller pots while I'm here for those little ones. Um, now my other fun one that I've got is some um, mulberry cuttings, which I didn't actually think would take. Um, I'll show you a bit of a better view in a minute, um, purely because the tree had been quite badly termite eaten so I did get some cuttings from it and obviously this one's doing quite well this one over here I thought had died but then you can see it's starting to get lots of new growth and there are some mulberries which I'm going to pick off because I don't actually want mulberries on it um, purely because it's too little <coughs> Um, but that's exciting. So, two of definitely um, getting have got lots of green. A third one has a little bit, and the other two at the moment don't look like much. But I'm not going to rule them out yet. So, I'm going to fill this up. I was going to do the big one first, but I've overfilled the pot. So. my little bucket now when it comes to propagating I use whatever I can to propagate um, buckets with holes drilled in the bottom recycled pots if I can find it I will use it um, in the garden real estate's limited when you're only working in pots so you use as much as you can there we go, look at that. Not bad for our free plan, is it? Um, might just fill up another one of these. I've almost got enough out of this one. So I'm just going to throw in some blood and bone. <clears throat> I've done the same to this one. I'm just going to do the roots on that. Give it a little bit of a spread out. I 
That's two down. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to put up all these little ones first because I need the I need my bag that I use as a bit of a catch-all. So I'm just using a high quality potting mix um, and then the blood, blood bone and then I'll also obviously give them a nice big drink and then um, and once I've given them a drink as well over the next few days I will also be giving them some uh, liquid fertilizer as well just to ensure that they're nice and healthy and give them as much of a chance as they can to grow roots and really take set. Now the blood bone won't break down for a while because it's a slow release and that's okay but just helps to sort of give it a bit more feed. <coughs> The liquid fertilizer of sea salt, like a seaweed solution, and I do have some like worm tea as well, so I'll give them some of that. So, again, just making sure I'm sort of giving those roots a bit of a the best chance they can. Now it's funny because it's coming up with like side shoots. But I reckon I might be able to get another plant out of it. Or a couple of plants maybe. We've got a few side shoots happening on this one. Sort of hitting the pot to loosen up the soil inside.
little bit right there. massage those roots a little bit So this one's looking a little bit sad. I think it's just not had, with us not having much water recently, it's probably just not had as many waters as it needed. And I just snapped a branch off. So I'm going to stick that in one of these others and hopefully it grows also. <laughs> I mean, that's how all of these come. These were all just cuttings, so... a little bit. Some good quality soil. Some nice fresh stuff. 
stuff. I'm trying to make sure I'm filling in any gaps. I don't want to compact it in too much, but I want to make sure the roots have enough soil to. sort of do a combination of the old soil just turn you back up so I always do a combination of old soil and new soil when I repot something up um, so I don't I disturb the roots but without disturbing them too much and then the old soil that's sort of been depleted I can mix that with you know say 25% reused soil and then 75% new fresh potting mix or soil um, the other thing that I do is I will also if it looks really depleted I just put it in the compost bin or into the worm farm I don't have a worm farm at the moment but when I do have worm farms that's what I do and um, yeah so I'm sort of re-energizing that soil so this is some of this is quite dry there's not it's not fluffy it's not um, probably some of it's pretty good still but some of it's not the best so I'll just do that with it just get it up ready to go <coughs> That's just, now this one here this one's looking pretty sad actually and I think it's just purely that was another one that I, <coughs> I couldn't fit in the other pot, so I put it in there. But I think it just wasn't getting enough water. The soil was probably too depleted. So, now that I've got it in the new soil and I can keep it watered, hopefully, this will come back. And I have actually seen them almost come back from, com like, I've seen them come back from almost completely dead. So, elderberry is pretty hardy. <clears throat> but yeah. So considering I've got what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight plants out of some free cuttings, I haven't paid for one of them besides the soil. That's not bad. Well, thank you very much for joining me today. Um, I will give them a water now. Um, but yeah, so a couple of, if you can get elderberries, I do suggest you just get some cuttings and so even, there you go, that one has broken off. But if I get that and I stick it in one of the pots, I can dip it in honey, um, dip it in cinnamon, with, or you can get some actual um, rooting hormone powder or gel from the shops from you know um, Bunnings or you know yeah, any other plant stores nurseries that kind of thing um, and then yeah it just helps to give it a bit more chance for the rooting but otherwise that's that's all I did with these um, so yeah thank you for joining me today have a great day and I'll see you again next time. Bye.